It's training camp season, and today we're looking at the Jacksonville Jaguars, and we're going to get a good look at Trevor Lawrence. We're going to watch him throw the ball around, work through some drills and everything else, but before we dig in, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're talking about these players every single day. We're looking at your rookies, guys coming back from injuries, guys on your favorite team. Soon you're going to be drafting these guys in fantasy. You want to see if they're looking good at practice? It's going to be right here. Click that button. Stop missing out today. We're looking at Trevor Lawrence. We're seeing what he's doing on the field. Here we go. First drill. Boom. Getting it out there. Here's another one. Another one. Getting it downfield. We're looking good. From everything I've heard, which is not much, from Jacksonville Jaguars camp, is that he's looking good. Everything's looking solid. Brian Thomas Jr. Talking about him. So there was a lot going on in training camp. Because things were quiet with the media with the Jacksonville Jaguars and we're not releasing a lot of information. So there was a lot of rumors around Twitter saying that he wasn't doing well, wasn't playing well. Comes out with the starters in preseason, makes that big play. We look at the highlights of Brian Thomas Jr. here. We got some on this clip as well with Trevor Lawrence. All in all, things are looking okay to, to great. I don't see anything really that bad. I haven't really heard anything that bad. I've been... Reading the logs from camp, and it sounds like he's beating guys out in drills, beating defensive backs and everything else. Sounds like he's making plays too. Maybe there's moments where things aren't perfect, but that's any player, any player, even Tom Brady. So the thing about that is the cards are held tight to the media's, the coach's chest here. We're not getting clips out on the regular like other teams. So other people are running with like misconceptions. But Brian Thomas Jr., from what we saw in preseason, watch this one, looking good. And I look for him to gel well with Trevor Lawrence. I look for Trevor Lawrence to want to push the ball downfield. I mean, he did last year, one of the top quarterbacks in the league with average depth of target, yards downfield, air yards downfield by pushing it downfield, if you don't know what that means. But that's what they brought in Brian Thomas Jr. in to fit well with that. They brought in Gabe Davis. That's what he did. He was nothing but that. He was soaking in air yards in Buffalo. That's what he's about. I look for Trevor Lawrence to want to get vertical. I look for Brian Thomas Jr. there to connect with him, especially on the deep balls. Evan Ingram, underrated. Very underrated considering the production profile there, especially with how he was able to turn around with Jacksonville. And some of you may not think he's underrated because you're in tune with him, but... I was rolling on some TikTok lives the other day. People were not saying good things. And I was astonished. But I think Trevor Lawrence, a lot of people were down on him because he was supposed to be the like the next great quarterback to come out. High-end prospect coming out of high school. One of the greatest prospects of all time, honestly. Coming out of high school level. Pretty decorated career at Clemson. All in all, he hasn't busted. He's had his moments, too. He's taken Jacksonville deep into the playoffs. He's look, He's had his moments. He's aggressive with the football. He's going to be in this league a long time. He's just going to be with Jacksonville a long time. We might be seeing him on the field here 10 years from now. That's the thing about this. We got a lot more to go with his career. That's the thing about his game. We might see him, what, it's 2024, 2034? He might be thinking about wrapping up his career around there. That's the thing about that. It's not like he's got a couple of years left or like, uh, he's got a lot more time to add to this resume. A lot more time to develop, build with the team, that team build for what he likes, get more players around him, things to click, offensive line click, everything else. He's a good quarterback. He's not bad at all. He's not bad. He just didn't come out of the gates, guns blazing as a generational prospect that everybody thought he was or that he is. But he's going to be in the league forever. He's a good talent still, a great talent. 90% of teams would love to have him as a quarterback, honestly. There's a lot of teams in the league that's just really hoping that they can just get to Trevor Lawrence, a quarterback like that. And we're seeing him in these clips, fitting it downfield. He's got an arm on it. He's confident. He's aggressive. We're going into another season where he can showcase what he can do. We waited for him a long time in high school and college to come out. This is a player here that can really command an offense. We got some weapons around him. 
Brian Thomas Jr. though is going to be the X factor for his career in the Jacksonville Jaguars. If he can connect quick, if he can develop quickly and rapid pace, this team is going to be a whole different level. If Brian Thomas Jr. can be the first round pick that this team drafted, this team's going to be on a whole different level because he will be the X factor. He will be the upside play. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. One thing for watching. Catch you on the next video.